Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're gonna delve back into some actual paranormal matters. Uh, we talked a little bit about ghosts and spiritualism and communicating with the dead. Now, I want to talk about something a little bit different. Something that often gets thrown in with the ghost thing, but if you talk to people who've experienced it, it's distinctly different. And that's the topic of shadow people. They are kind of like ghosts, as they're always a little bit indistinct, a little bit off in the distance, a little bit fuzzy around the edges. But unlike ghosts, they're usually, almost always, very, very dark. They're darker than the rest of the room around them. They're darker than the shadows that they're often in. And they're always human-shaped. They often register as male shape-wise. And sometimes they wear hats, which is probably one of the stranger things that seems to have come about. There, there's mentions of shadowy creatures going far back into mythology. Uh, so it's not exactly a new thing. But it wasn't something that got talked about a whole lot until uh, 2001, when uh, on the Coast to Coast AM radio program, people started talking about it. And that brought it out, out, out online. And um, it, there had been a bit of an online presence uh, before regarding shadow people, because I remember seeing stuff on them uh, back in the early 90s in college. And I saw that stuff because, well, I was looking for it. See, I haven't seen any ghosts. I can't claim to have seen any ghosts. But I have seen shadow people. I've also seen shadow animals. I'm hesitant to call them dogs, but that's kind of what they're like. And this was, uh, again, back in college, uh, when my friends and I were really pushing the envelope on uh, some of this paranormal stuff. The weird stuff that I'm into, that I'm talking about when I'm talking about these paranormal things. That was also a time when these shadow figures would be seen every now and then uh, by me and by other people I know. And we didn't talk about it at first, which is the weird thing, because when we did start talking about it, we realized we had been seeing the same kinds of things. What made this really strange and really stuck in my mind was when I was talking to some other friends of mine from outside of that group who really had no interest in this paranormal stuff, who reported seeing exceptionally similar figures to what we had been seeing hundreds of miles away, uh, and they're the ones that brought it up to me. I hadn't mentioned uh, anything that I'd seen at all to them. So to have that sort of confirmation, or at least experiential coherence happen, is a little unusual uh, in a topic like this. Uh, and then I did find some stuff online, so I knew that this is a phenomenon that goes on. And once uh, the early 2000s hit and, and up through now, there's been tons and tons of reports about these shadow people. Uh, and they are imminently and utterly creepy. Uh, because what they seem to do in most cases is they seem to just be there to watch. A lot of times they don't approach. They just stay off on the edge of uh, vision. And sometimes they're still there when you turn and look right at them. Uh, which is, again, something that's kind of creepy. And, and they don't feel the same as ghosts. If you talk to people who've seen ghosts, who uh, who don't freak out at the notion of ghosts, that's, that's one of the important things, is, is that you have to take into account the basic fear response that kicks the imagination into overdrive in a lot of cases. 
Uh, so if you have someone who's kind of jumpy to begin with, uh, who thinks they've seen something, uh, they're going to build that experience up in their mind a whole lot. And the same is true about someone who desperately, desperately, desperately wants to see something, which is where paranormal investigators have to be very aware of how their own minds work and how people around them think and behave. Uh, because you have to remember to keep yourself in check. So when, you, when you're doing that, when you're experienced in doing that, and a, being a trained observer, you notice things a little bit differently. You notice your own physical reactions to things. Uh, and if you talk to people who are experienced or trained in that way, or at least, at the very least, don't freak out at the notion of seeing something, the feeling that they get from shadow people is very different from the feeling they get from regular ghosts. Very often, uh, the shadow people have a more ominous feeling to them, much creepier th than ghosts, which are often relatively neutral, uh, if not uh, vaguely human in feel. That, that sort of familiarity uh, doesn't exist with shadow people. There's nothing familiar about them except their shape. And that's disconcerting on a number of levels. Now, I've never seen any of the ones with hats, uh, which seem to be popular, but there's some dispute about whether that's popular because that's the image that is now stuck in people's imagination. Uh, so that's what they overlay onto whatever it is they're seeing. Uh, or if that's actually something that's really happening. Uh, again, this is one of those things that's really tough to get any actual evidence uh, there's not a lot of photographic evidence out there. There's even less photographic evidence that hasn't been proven to be fake. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of stories, a lot of recollections, a lot of experiences. But taken as a whole, it's a very interesting phenomenon. And the level of this phenomenon, while regular ghost sightings seem to be kind of passe, uh, shadow people... Uh, sightings ha have been steadily increasing, or at least people's willingness to talk about them has been steadily increasing. Uh, there are message boards online. There have been a few books on the subject written. Uh, and if you ask around among a decent-sized group of people, uh, you'll likely find at least as many people who have seen shadow people uh, as have seen uh, ghosts. Because that seems to be that shadow people are becoming more common, or at least more noticeable. And if that's the case, then they may actually work kind of the opposite of ghosts, where ghosts uh, seem to be interfered with, with all the electromagnetic energy around, uh, perhaps uh, shadow people are emboldened by it, are strengthened by it, are, you know, made more solid by it, as opposed to getting lost in the noise. When I was in college, uh, we would generally see these shadow people out at the edge of the woods. Now, colleges, uh, when it comes to paranormal stuff, are, are interesting places, because in college you have a tremendous concentration of people with wildly fluctuating emotions, pushing the envelope on all sorts of things, and under high amounts of stress in a regular periodic fashion. That is a recipe for a tremendous amount of random uh, energy being thrown out there, which can lead to all sorts of different experiences and draw in all sorts of different paranormal critters, for lack of a better word. Shadow people seem to be among that group. Uh, we would see them uh, out along the edge of the woods uh, at night, darker than the rest of the woods, uh, and these are times where we've just come from that direction, so we know that there was no one else there. Uh, so that's really weird. Even weirder is when you see ones that have, where you can see their eyes, they're a little glowing, uh, at times. And then there's the, uh, the shadow dogs, for lack of a better term. They're kind of 
large, uh, not exactly dogs. They're built a little differently, but they're on all fours. Uh, and also with the whole glowing eyes thing. It's the glowing eyes thing that's really weird um, in general. Uh, so these are experiences that I've had, that people I know have had, and that there are an awful lot of similar things online that have come up both before and after we had those experiences. I don't know what they are. I have some ideas, but nothing to prove it. No way to even begin to prove it. Uh, they feel like things that aren't from around here. They're coming from somewhere else. And that is one of the theories with shadow people is that they're either time travelers or dimensional travelers or aliens of some sort. I, I'm not buying into the demon theory for numerous reasons, but we'll talk about that when we talk about demons at some point. They're just weird, and I've never had any exceptionally negative interactions with them. They just always seem to be watching. Other people have reported being attacked by them. No one that I know, as far as I know. Again, these are normally grouped in with ghost things and a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff, but they seem to be a distinctly different phenomenon than ghosts. If you've ever seen any shadow people or have any ideas about what they are, uh, leave me a comment down below because I'm really, really curious about this phenomenon. Uh, and if you like what I've said about them and are interested in it, give me a thumbs up down there. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notifications when I put these uh, talks about weird things and other stuff up. And uh, if there's anyone else out there you know who's interested in this sort of stuff, uh, share this video with them. Because I want to hear what stories they have and what information they have uh, and get them involved in the conversation. So that's it for today. I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.